Okay, am I the only person that doesn't mind this pick? Oh, yes, of course, I understand. You just signed Kirk Cousins to a four-year four year deal. But listen, you have Drake London, Kyle Pitts, B. John Robinson. You guys have weapons. Now, everyone has seen what Michael Penix has done in college. He did great. He did amazing. He is coming off an injury, so he's not expected to start. He's probably not expected to start until, I guess, in a couple years from now. So Kirk Cousins can be that mentor because who knows if Kirk Cousins is going to sign another deal with the Falcons. And also, who knows it's guaranteed that he's going to lead the Falcons to the promised land. Like I said, they already have offensive weapons. Now, tie that in into, let's say it doesn't work out with Kirk, Kirk Cousins. The, the, they are still young. Kyle, Kyle Pitts. Uh, Drake London, dude is only like 22 years old. Bijan Robinson just got drafted last year. If it doesn't work out, them guys are going to be reaching their primes when I get, when Michael, let's say, like I said, if Kirk Cousins doesn't work, they still be in their prime. And Michael Penix, hey, he, he's now, he now know what it comes with being an NFL quarterback. He not, he's now equipped to do things because like I said, we already know what he can do in college. Who says he can't do the same thing in the NFL if he has a chance? So, no, I don't think it's a bad pick. But, yes, it, yes, it was probably too early to choose him. And there's probably other needs the Falcons need as well. But I don't think it is a bad of a pick that everyone's making. It's like, chill, slow down. It's, like, it's not that bad.